What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a Fortnite YouTube banner tutorial on Pixlr. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the Twitter header tutorial, the one where I actually provided you guys the templates, in the comment section, I saw you guys asking me nonstop for a YouTube version or how to make it fit your YouTube channel so you guys could use it as a banner. And there were so many comments that video is actually almost at 100,000 views. So I was not expecting that many comments nor that much support on that video. So unfortunately, I couldn't respond to all of your guys questions but that's why I am here today with a YouTube banner tutorial and I also have templates as well I also have different colors of the templates this time as well so if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos just like this make sure to go ahead and leave a like subscribe drop a comment down below as well as giving you guys the templates I will go ahead and show you guys how to get the text how to get like your social media and everything on there and I will also show you guys how to export it and get it onto your YouTube channel as well now a couple more things before we get too far in the video I'm really active on TikTok again so if you guys want to go follow me over over there. I'll greatly appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the description. I also appreciate all of you guys who've been liking, uh, subscribing to the channel. We just hit 15k. So again, thank you guys so much. Even if you guys do just come here for the graphics tutorials, I really do appreciate it. I also really appreciate all you guys who also watch like the keyboard content as well. If you guys look at my TikTok, it's a lot of like keyboard and tech content as well. So let me know if maybe you guys want to see like some graphics content over there or something. I'm going to try to have a lot more graphics tutorials out and I know Pixlr just updated. So I will have like a new Pixlr tutorial up very soon as well. So stay tuned for that and yeah, I suppose we'll just go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so before we go ahead and hop into our software and go ahead and start making our banner, I'm gonna briefly discuss all of the stuff that I did provide for you guys in the Google Drive link. By the way, in the description of this video, I will give you guys a Google Drive link to download the black template as well as all of the renders you guys see here as well. And within that, I will also give you guys the template. And again, I will show you guys how to use all of that as well. But first things first, make sure you go ahead and just download everything before we even start this tutorial. It's gonna be a lot easier once you just download it and drag it all to your desktop or a folder. In there, you guys are gonna find all the templates templates, like I said, but the black one, I will give you guys for free right away, just like the last tutorial I did. But I did actually go ahead and make a red, a blue, and a green one. Now, if we click on these, I actually made them, obviously, as you guys can see in each color. This is the red one, and then this is the blue one, and then I also made a green one as well. So I will give you guys the black one for free, but I will give you guys the red, blue, and green template once we hit a 1,000 likes on this video. In the last tutorial, it's currently at 7,000 likes, so I didn't want to set the bar too high again. But yeah, 1,000 likes and I will give you guys the rest of the templates and I will just toss them in the Google Drive link in the description as well with everything else. With that being said, this is what the templates look like. This is the black one I'm going to give you guys right away. As you can see, it's a lot wider than the Twitter header as the sizing for a YouTube banner is very much different than like a Twitter header or like a banner on Twitch or something like that. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is obviously go over to Pixlr, which is a completely free software. You shouldn't have to download anything to go ahead and access this. We're going to go over and head to create new first right on this left side and you go ahead and name it whatever you want i'm just going to name it youtube banner for an example and then for width you guys are going to want to type 2560 and then for the height we're going to put 1440 and i'll explain why in a little bit but we're going to leave the background just blank we don't really need anything like that for the background we're going to hit create and then all we have to do right away is actually just go to layer add image as layer and you guys are just going to need to find the template that I gave you guys in the Google Drive link. We're gonna first add the YouTube banner template. So let's briefly go over this. Um, basically this dark gray area, this is what you guys are gonna see if you're on like a mobile device, which a majority of people who watch YouTube are. And then what you guys see on this left side and this right side is gonna be on a computer. And then what you see on the top and the bottom in these lighter gray areas are what you guys are gonna see on a TV. Now, the important thing here is that nobody really watches YouTube on a TV. I mean, let's be real, nobody's gonna see this. So we're not gonna Worry about the light gray area on top and we're not going to worry about the light gray area on the bottom as well the more important thing here is this dark gray area and then this left side and the right side so once you guys get this in here it's going to automatically size it you guys should not touch or move this at all the first thing we're actually going to do is go to the left dots over here and we are going to lock it so we actually don't end up accidentally moving it at all and this sets us up perfectly for the template that i actually made so to add the template again go to layer add image as layer and I'm gonna go ahead and just for an example, toss in the black one that I gave you guys in the Google Drive. So here we got black YouTube template, ice kicks. And as you guys can see, it automatically fits itself into the middle perfectly. And this is exactly how I planned it to work. Again, all we need to do here is click on that template and we're gonna click lock and we have that exactly where we need it. Now, if you guys wanna use the renders that I provided in the Google Drive, feel free to. If you guys wanna use your own renders, feel free to as well. That's why I gave you guys the template and I didn't put the renders on the template. So 
you guys can kind of customize it to your liking. To add the renders, all you guys have to do is hit layer, add image as layer, and just find each render that you guys want to put on there. And then all you have to do is make sure it's on fixed, then just drag it down a little bit and make sure it kind of fits just like you guys see in the thumbnail. Again, I can just use the arrow keys to kind of make sure it's perfect. Go to layer, add image as layer, and we can add the other one if we want to. And then I'm just gonna take that render and I'm going to drag it underneath the other one just so it looks a bit a bit nicer. So next thing we're gonna focus on is the text. Now I will leave a link in the description to the font if you guys do wanna check out the exact font that I'm using. I will also leave a card up if you guys do wanna check out how to download fonts on Pixlr. It's a super easy process. I already have a full video covering it, but we're gonna go to the text tool. I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click add, and I'm just gonna type in my name, which is Ice Kicks. And now I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go ahead and find the font that I do want to use now. I know they updated Pixlr, so I might have to add it again. All right, so we got our font chosen. As you guys can see, I'm using League Spartan. I'm gonna double click it and I'm going to choose this color and I'm actually gonna match the color with this exact like charcoal gray that I'm using. And I'm also going to go to styles and actually I think it was format. Yeah, and we're also gonna make it italic just because I do prefer it italic. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the size and I'm gonna drag the size up a bit as well. As you guys can see here, just about like that and then I'm gonna drag that underneath that render right there now if we go ahead and look at the thumbnail and we look at the official banner that I actually finished and made you guys can see the social media and you can see my name here as well so you guys can put whatever social media icons you guys want I will provide as many PNG icons uh, black icons as I can that I have in the Google Drive as well for you guys go ahead and download for those all you obviously need to do is just go ahead and go to layer add image as layer and just add each social media icon you guys want and then all you have to do is just size them to make sure they're all sized the same I have covered this in pretty much every single tutorial so I'm not gonna cover adding them again as you literally just have to go to layer add his image as layer for each of them and then as far as that you guys are done you guys can add other stuff if you guys really feel like it I almost forgot I will also show you guys how to save it and how to add it onto your YouTube profile go to file save and we're gonna go to JPG and we're gonna drag the quality all the way up to 100%. Now make sure you guys do that, that's key. Um, also make sure to go down to the width and height and just make sure it's on 2560 by 1440. That's very, very important. It needs to be that exact width and height. And then just name it whatever you guys want. I'm just gonna name a YouTube banner, Ice Kicks. I can spell it right. <laughs> and then we're just gonna hit download. And then usually I'm just gonna click show in folder and I'm just gonna drag it right down to my desktop as you guys can see. All right, so as you guys can see here, I'm on my second channel actually. This is where I pretty much like upload a lot of my TikToks as YouTube Shorts, but I'm gonna be using this as an example. So if we just go to this camera thing up here, we're gonna click on this. As you guys can see here, we're in our channel customization. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the banner image and we're gonna click change. And then we're gonna go ahead and find the one that we just downloaded. It should be on your desktop. Here it is. So YouTube banner ice kicks, I'm gonna double click this. And as you guys can see here, you do not have to move anything. You literally choose it. And that is why we have the exact dimensions that we do. So you don't have to move it at all. All we have to do here is click done and click publish. And as you guys can see here, if I go back to my channel, it should be updated and it should look pretty clean as well, in my opinion. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Again, if you guys like this video or found it helpful at all, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and also drop a comment down below as well. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.